before we before we move on from sports, I want to I want to cover one thing on this show. Watching live on Justin TV, you're getting a great view of my of my camera. Oh, up in the stakes! Up in the stakes! I like steaks. I stakes. You need some steaks? I beat you. You leave the division. Okay. You beat me. I will leave the UFC forever. Woo! According to Chael okay, Sonnen, Anderson Silva's team, Jail Sonnen, uh, Chael Sonnen is a liar and, and unworthy of the title shot. So I don't know how honest you can take that as stipulation. Do you think he's actually going to live up to it if he does lose? I think he's going to. Of course, he's going to live up to it. Because no, he's not. He can go to the competition. You There's know? no Strike. competition. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, maybe Belfort. He's good at Belfort. So yeah, it's, uh, I don't know where Chael Sonnen plans on going. Maybe to the WWF. Clearly, that's yeah. where his motivation yeah. comes yeah. from with all his promos. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to—I just want to drop that in there because I love Chael Sonnen. I love—I uh, love anyone who will hype up a fight and then go in there and back it up. I think he's going to go in there, regardless of Anderson Silva having a broken rib last time. He would have got his ass beat just as bad as he did, and Chael Sonnen made a mistake at the very end, last 30 seconds. Why couldn't he end that fight, though? Why couldn't Chael, why couldn't Chael end that fight? Why did he go the whole five rounds? Anderson Silva is tough. I he guess did. Anderson Silva didn't take any real total damage. It was uh -huh. just a lot of ground and pound. I guess he, I don't think he was ever really, really, did really in trouble. Did he have in ever in the, in the match? You know, it was like a year ago. I don't yeah, really yeah, remember. Yeah, I just yeah. know that when it happens again yeah. this January, another mind control guarantee, Chael Sonnen. You think he's going to win? He's going to... Wow. Uh, geez, so, I don't know if he could submit. I don't know if he could knock out Anderson Silva, but he might just go five rounds again and take the belt. He's not going to take the belt on the decision. He has to tap out Silva. Silva has to tap out for Let's see to, to get that belt. Jail, you've been called out. You have to tap out Anderson Silva. He knows it. He knows it. Um, so this is what he said this week about Anderson. He says, you tell Anderson Silva I'm coming over, I'm kicking his door in, and patting his little lady on the ass. Uh, I'll tell her to make me a steak, medium rare. That's how I like it. Wow. So that's what Sutton was saying about Silva's wife. This guy's out of control. He wants it. He wants that's that what I like. shot. Speaking of Brandon Marshall and Jail yeah. Sutton, I love yeah. people out of control. Yeah. You think he's still doing the juice? Um, I find it question. I I don't know the whole story on him yeah. juicing to begin with. Okay, uh, okay. How's the how did the guy juice and come back and find himself in the middle of a title shot again? Uh, was well, it real juice well, or was it like his, his testosterone was through the roof, uh, which is a result of juicing steroids? Of being a man, of being a really awesome man. <laughs> um, that that's what he claimed. He claimed that he had to have some testosterone replacement therapy or something. Huh. Um, but he fought in Texas, and Texas allows anyone to fight. Texas. His last, against, against Brian Stanley, dominated him. He could have been juicing during that fight. We'll never know. Um, so he said, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, my my prediction is uh, Chael will not beat Anderson Silva. As, made, uh, as, as much as it pains me to say it, uh, Anderson's not going to lose that belt. Ouch. All right. All right. So we'll move on. Um, I have one more story here, Jared. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you heard about the death of uh, Dan we Weldon, uh, the Indy car driver, yesterday. And did you see? The, did, you, did, you, did you watch the car crash? Did you, did you YouTube it on YouTube? You didn't YouTube it. I have no interest in that. Okay. Okay. Did you hear about this guy? I heard about yeah, it. Yeah. Pretty boy, British guy or something. Yeah. Yeah. He won two two Indy 500s, and uh, yeah, his car went flying through the air, and uh, and he died. And a lot of people have been saying this should be the end. We have a we have a viewer here. Should be the end of what? This should be the end of boxing. I mean, uh, of, 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 of race car driving. They said uh, this this death, you know, is another example of why this shouldn't be a sport. We do. Um, we have a viewer here. Yes. Panda Bear, who likes our pumpkin. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to expose the uh, tag back here. The I didn't business. buy this. I I grew this in my garden, and put a sticker. That's on against it. the law, Jerry. You can't you, you can't grow veggies in your backyard. Ah, sorry. Well, the CI kept knocking at your door. You know what? Oh wait, I'll leave this here so that our live viewers can see it. So. uh... Let us know, Panda Bear. What do you think about uh, IndyCar racers exploding into thin air? I personally think that they need to... What You say it needs to be the end of what? Ne uh, racing in general. Let's do it. Let's yeah. end it. What? How many sports do we have to watch somebody die 
in front of thousands and thousands Here's of people some other over of, and over of and over um, until we realize that this isn't a sport. Corey Stringer of the, of the Minnesota Vikings died of a heat stroke during NFL practice okay, in practice. 2001. In 2011, Derek Shelley of, uh, of the NCAA Frostburg State University, he died of a brain injury he suffered while uh, taking a helmet-to-helmet collision. Okay. In 2011. In practice. Um, and uh, there's, there's this Yvonne Cernoda, uh, the, the Olympic bobsledder that, that flew off the, the, the track. Yeah, theory. come on. Oh, that was the Olympics yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Wasn't that a trial yeah. run? Yeah, a trial in run. In practice. Yeah. Maybe we need to ban practice. Yeah. No I more. Mean, I mean, yeah, exactly. Like, why why risk it even more by going through it, you know, for no reason? That's a, that's a good point. No more practices, ever. Uh, Major League Baseball star Aldardo Edmond uh, in 1974 for the Pittsburgh Pirates died after an on-field collision with a teammate, 1974. And in 2011... 74? Yeah, it's, I had to I look back for a baseball okay. one. But in 2011, psych, a cyclist, uh, Wouter Well, Well, whatever, uh, he fell off of a cliff during the Gyro d'Italia wow. uh, yeah, tour, tour. Wow. So, so and, and that was in 2011. So, 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 so it sounds... Like, so it sounds to me like football. Yeah, say the baseball. Well, but football sounds okay. out of control. F- football, yeah, if you got to go back yeah. to the seventies yeah, to find a baseball, baseball, yeah, yeah, sounds to me like footballs yeah. just out of control. Well, that's two thousand one. This the core stringer death. Now yeah, but hi- this high school kid just died. Yeah, yeah, you heard yeah. about this high school kid yeah, that just yeah, died yeah. Uh, taking a big hit in practice again in practice. Yeah. Um, Maybe we may not go so hard during practice. I know it's hard to practice and not go hard during practice, but if I could. Do something that may be a little too soon. I saw the interview with this kid's mom, and any mom who could be on the news looking so nice and composed. Uh, no, that eyeshadow was running down her face. The or day anything. of or the day after her her son was dead. Uh, I have to question as a media whore. Um, I just if if my kid if my kid something ever happened the last the last person I want to talk to is the media. Anyone in the news. This chick had her house so perfectly spick and span. Everything's so organized, and she looked nice, and uh, looked to me like it was a little more important to be on the news than to... Well, it, it, you don't, you're on the news every day. I mean, you have a kid die maybe three times in your life, you're on the news every day. Channel 4 doesn't come calling every That's day, right. right? you got to right. be ready. you got to be ready. you got to take advantage of those opportunities. Yeah, yeah, she may star in her favorite <clears throat> soap opera. You never 